Five years after the existence of the Titans was revealed to the world, Dr. Emma Russell, a paleobiologist working for the Titan-studying organization Monarch, and her daughter Madison, witnessed the birth of a larva called Mothra. Emma calms Mothra using the Orca, a device that can emit frequencies to attract or alter Titan behavior. A group of eco-terrorists, led by former British Army Colonel Alan Jonah, attacks the base and kidnaps Emma and Madison, while Mothra flees and pupates under a nearby waterfall. Monarch scientists Dr. Ishiro Sarazawa and Dr. Vivian Graham approach former employee Dr. Mark Russell, Emma's ex-husband and Madison's father, to help track them down. Mark is reluctant at first due to his hatred toward Godzilla, whom he blames for the death of his son during the events in San Francisco, which took place in the 2014 movie Godzilla, but he eventually agrees to help. The Monarch team follows Godzilla to Antarctica, where Jonah intends to free a three-headed titan codenamed Monster Zero. Emma frees and awakens Monster Zero, who battles Godzilla, devours Graham, and escapes. The team later deduces that Emma is working with the terrorists. From a Monarch bunker in Boston, Emma contacts Monarch and argues that the Titans must be awakened in order to heal the Earth from the damages that humans have caused. Emma awakens Rodan in Mexico, and the Monarch team lure it towards Monster Zero. After Rodan is defeated, Godzilla ambushes Monster Zero and severs his left head. During the fight, the US Navy launches a prototype weapon called the Oxygen Destroyer, seemingly killing Godzilla. Unaffected, Monster Zero regrows his lost head and awakens all the other dormant titans around the world, with Rodan submitting to his rule. As a result, Madison disowns Emma. Through mythological texts, Dr. Eileen Chen discovers that Monster Zero is King Ghidorah, a prehistoric alien seeking to terraform the Earth. Mothra emerges from her cocoon and flies to Monarch's Bermuda base to communicate with Godzilla, who is recuperating in an ancient underwater city. Via submarine, the team locates Godzilla's lair, which is highly radioactive. They deduce it will take too long for Godzilla to heal on his own and decide to detonate a nuclear warhead to speed up the process. Sarazawa sacrifices himself by manually detonating the warhead, reviving Godzilla, and increasing his power. Emma realizes the destruction Ghidorah and the other Titans will bring to the world is much worse than anything that humans could inflict, but Jonah ignores her pleas to stop. Madison overhears this and steals the Orca. Arriving at Fenway Park, Madison broadcasts a frequency that calms the Titans but unwittingly attracts all of them to her location. Ghidorah lands in Boston to destroy the Orca. Godzilla arrives with Monarch personnel's assistance to engage him in battle. Mark leads a team to rescue Madison and escape the city after learning Godzilla's radiation levels are increasing and will lead to a thermonuclear explosion. Mothra arrives to help Godzilla, but is intercepted by Rodan. She defeats him, but is injured in the process. Ghidorah overpowers Godzilla and prepares to kill him but Mothra sacrifices herself and transfers her energy to Godzilla. Mark, Emma, and Madison are reunited and reactivate the Orca to lure Ghidorah away from Godzilla. Emma sacrifices herself to lead Ghidorah away, giving Mark, Madison, and the Monarch team time to escape. Godzilla enters a newly empowered state and defeats Ghidorah. Rodan and the other Titans converge on Godzilla and bow to him. During the end credits, News clippings and Monarch files show that the Titans are helping to heal the planet. A suspected second Mothra egg has been discovered, and some of the Titans are converging on Skull Island. Ancient cave paintings of Godzilla and Kong in battle are shown. In a post credit scene, Jonah and his forces purchase Ghidorah's severed left head in Mexico.